Hello? What do I want? <laughs> I want Cadbury's. The Cadbury Show! <laughs> Here's the best piece of good news you've heard in a long time. Quarter pound blocks of smooth, creamy Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate have actually come down in price. It's true. The price for quarter pound Cadbury's Dairy Milk is now reduced from two and threepence to two shillings. There's no doubt about it, Cadbury's are the people who really know how to make chocolate. Of course, the same tip-top Cadbury quality is maintained, same quarter pound weight guarantee. Only the price has changed and chains for the better. You can now enjoy a quarter pound block of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate at the new price, two shillings. More than ever, Dairy Milk is top chocolate value. All the more reason why you should say, I want Cadbury's. Hi, Jelly Bean. What you doing? Hello, purse. I'm just getting rid of the junk out of this drawer. If it's junk you're throwing out, why don't you get rid of the furniture? But purse, it's genuine antique. Look at this chair, Louis the Fourteenth. Well, it's time you got a next model. Get a Louis the Fifteenth. <laughs> hey, else? What? What's that old gramophone record? Oh, that's one of Minnie's old hit songs. What was it called? My lips may be true, but my teeth are false. <laughs> oh, and purse, look. Here's an old corn cure. Blimey, Jellybean, where did that come from? Straight out of a sick bed. Uh, good day, Eric. How are you getting along? I don't know, Purse. It's a miracle of medical science. It's me feet, you know. I can't get a pair of gloves to fit them. What? Gloves on your feet? Naturally. I wouldn't pull the weeds out of the garden with me bare toes. You weed the garden with your feet? Well, you don't think I'd pull the weeds out of me with me teeth, do you? But, Mr. Hercules, what about your hands? Oh, no. Me hands are all fingers and thumbs. <laughs> but everyone has fingers and thumbs on their hands. Seven fingers and five thumbs? You've got that. On me right hand. What about your left hand? Oh, am I supposed to have a left one as well? <laughs> now I know why the doctor calls me his right-hand man. Now, don't encourage him, Purse. If he hasn't got anything wrong with him, he makes up things like that. Hey, by the way, Herc, do you know about my new job? No. What are you doing, Purse? I'm a photographer's model. <laughs> my face will appear in lots of advertisements soon. What as? Don't let this happen to you. <laughs> you may scoff, but this week I'm working on an advertising film. But Purse, you never told me. <gasps> Imagine you're in pictures. Is that why they've introduced the wide screen? <laughs> That's all right about you. You're jealous because people will be stopping me in the street. Yeah, and giving you a shilling for a cup of coffee. <laughs> no. They want me autograph. I'll be famous. Well, I don't like to hurt your feelings, but you don't look like a film star to me. I reckon you ought to spruce up a bit. Mr. Hercules is right, Purse. You know, half the battle of being a film star is your appearance. You don't even wear hair oil these days. Well, since I sold my motorbike, it's hard to get good, son. <laughs> anyway, Purse, now is a good time for you to put your New Year resolutions into practice. Me New Year resolution? Yes. Going through the rubbish, I found this list that you made out on New Year's Day. Oh. <laughs> well, I wasn't in any condition to be responsible for my actions that day. <laughs> Why? What did you do on New Year's Eve? Oh, I went into the next door neighbour's place for a chat about half past eight. What time did you get home? Seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Talkative little fella, aren't you? Well, I left his place at half past six, but it took me half an hour to get home. From next door? He did it the hard way. Yeah. I walked across the clothesline carrying a Japanese umbrella. <laughs> I would have been much quicker, but halfway across I met another Japanese going in the other direction. <laughs> Purse, that talk won't make me forget your resolutions. But Jellybean, everyone makes them, but nobody ever keeps them, you know that. Well, if you want to be a successful film star, you've got to keep yours. Besides, resolutions improve you. Now look at me. When I was 25, I made a resolution never to grow any older. They are resolutions never work. <laughs> 
Miss Elsie, what resolutions did Purse make? Oh, well, look, I'll read them to you. I'll read them out loud now, just to refresh his memory, see? I, Percival Brown, do hereby resolve not to get into any fights with Freddie Dawson. <laughs> well, I don't mind that one. <laughs> That's one that will certainly improve you. I've got a will of iron when it comes to these things. Well, now, here's the next one. I resolve to give up excessive eating and all bad habits and will reduce my weight by half a stone. There. Just a lot of silly nonsense. Purse, don't you want to be a film star? Yes, but they're only advertising films. Wouldn't you like to be seen in a You Too Can Have a Body Like Mine ad? I don't know. <laughs> the last time I sent for one of their booklets, something must have gone wrong. I got one addressed to Miss P. Brown. I didn't go on with it just in case. <laughs> Where's this willpower of iron you were talking about? It's been corroded by Russ. <laughs> Purse, if you are going to star in films, you must look your best. And to look your best, you must be fit. Oh, all right, all right. I'll show you. You may mock at me, but I'll show you what I'm made of. That will be necessary, thank you. <laughs> But I will remove half a stone from this glorious torso and I'll do it in two weeks. Good on your purse. And just for that, I'll go out and prepare something extra special for your dinner. Purse, you'll have to knock back whatever it is else he's going to cook for you. But Herc, you heard her say she's going to prepare something extra special. You're either on a diet or you're not on a diet. I'll start after lunch. No, no you've got to start now. Now, look, I know a little health restaurant where you can eat anything at all without gaining weight. Purse, now's the time. Yes, I suppose you're right. I've got to use my willpower. Come on, Purse. Uh, no, Jelly Bean, I don't want any lunch, thanks. <laughs> oh, Herc, this is murder. <laughs> it might be some form of suicide, but it's not murder. But if I don't eat, my nerves get all jumpy. Hey, uh, give us a cigarette. No smoking. It only promotes your appetite. Oh, that's wonderful. I can't eat and I can't smoke. There's only one thing left for me to do. I'll take a dose of poison. Uh -uh, you're not allowed to drink. <laughs> Look, Purse, don't you realise that all film stars diet like this? That's how they get such a magnificent figure. Yeah? Do you mean that if I go through with this, I'll really have a figure like a film star? That's right. Gee. Imagine me looking like Jane Russell. <laughs> I can't give you anything but love, baby. That's the only thing I've plenty of, baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. You're sure to find happiness. And I guess all those things you've always pined for. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell, baby. With diamond bracelets, Woolworths doesn't sell, baby. Till that lucky day you know darn well, baby. I can't give you anything but love. Everybody's tongue. The quarter pound blocks of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate are now selling at your chocolate counter for two shillings. Yes, smooth, creamy dairy milk has actually been reduced in price. 
That makes dairy milk even more today's top chocolate value. Mind you, dairy milk itself hasn't changed. There's still that famous glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk in each half pint, plus the deep-down goodness of Cadbury quality chocolate. Take advantage of these lower prices by buying a block of Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate tomorrow. Remember, only two shillings for a quarter pound block of dairy milk. From now on, make that your extra special reason for I want Cadbury's. Oh, this is terrible. Three days I've been without food. I don't think I can stand it much longer. Remember your career as a film star, Purse. How can I forget it? All this week we've been doing a big banquet scene with real food. <laughs> Did you eat any of it? No, they let me stand and do that. Oh, it's killing me. What I wouldn't give for a nice, thick, juicy, underdone dry biscuit. <laughs> I've got to eat something. I feel horrible. I'm getting weaker. I think I'll lie down here on the couch and wither away. How can I? Oh, it's, uh... Hey, Blimey, what's the matter with Perth? Nothing, Sam. He's just relaxing. Oh, that's different. Well, good luck to me. I could do with a bit of a rest myself. Well, I've just had a beautiful dinner. Chicken with crisp golden roast potatoes. <laughs> delicious cauliflower and fresh beans. Then strawberries and cream. And all the doings, followed by coffee and a toothpick. Oh, turn it up, Sam. I'm not interested in hearing about you having a slap-up feed at some posh hotel. Oh, this wasn't a hotel feed, Purse. I just ate the lunch Miss Elsie had cooked for you. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Look here, I got the very thing for you here in my suitcase. Here, reducing pills. Well, they take me weight off. No. But as you eat them, the pills will be reducing. <laughs> very funny. Here, hey. Uh, have you tried vanishing cream? Oh, stop teasing me, Sam. Now look here, Purse, what you need is something to occupy your mind. Some little thing that you've got to do. Uh, now, wait, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, this dart set, here. Look, you blow through this hollow tube. You call that a dart set? No, but the Hottentots do. Hey, uh, and look here, I'll even throw in a missionary you can use as a target. Well, he's only been used once before. No thanks, Sam. Oh. Uh, here, uh, how about a card game? You mean like grab? Grab? Oh no, that's an outdoor game. You play it in jeweler shops. <laughs> I, I don't know any other games. You don't? All right, we'll play poker. Here, five bob a hand and I'll deal. Can I be in this? Oh, uh, have you played before? No. You're in. Uh, <laughs> five for you. Uh, five for you Thank and you. Uh, six for me. Now, there we are. <clears throat> now, what do we do? Well, you look at your hand. Uh, see, uh, now, what do you got? Dirty fingernails. <laughs> now, what? Cards have you got? You who? You beauty? Oh, wacko! You pee! How many for you, poker face? Five, thanks. Right. Five. What about you, Purse? Well, I don't know. Uh, would anyone like to swap? I got four the same. Four. Uh, 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 yeah. Well. Uh, uh, now we all show the cards we got now. I've got a pair of tens. Oh. Well, I got four twos. Ah, oh, you win, Sam. I've only got four ones. <laughs> Good on you, Sam. You're very lucky, aren't you? Yeah. <coughs> well, uh, I think I'll be going now. Right, I Sam. I'm glad you dropped in. You took my mind off my troubles for a few brief minutes. Yes, Purse. I'm sorry. I must go. You see, I'm taking delivery of a new car this afternoon. Ah, yeah. What kind of a car is it? Oh, I don't know, Purse. It's uh, a matter of finding one that's been left unlocked. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Oh, I'm hungry. I feel like a bottomless pit. <laughs> well, you don't look like it. Oh, hello, Min. I believe you're on a diet, Purse. That's right, Min. I've been on a three-day fast, but they've been more like three days slow. <laughs> what are you eating, Min? Oh, Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a piece of that. Mmm, tastes beautiful. It's got a glass and a half of rich, creamy milk in it. I didn't ask for details. <laughs> uh, Min, uh, are you going to eat it all by yourself? Mm, I say. <laughs> and when I've finished this, I'm going to have a big slice of fruitcake. You'll come out in pimples. Mm, I don't care. Well, I hope you cut yourself shaving. Ah, <laughs> oh, seriously, Min. <laughs> seriously, dear. Uh, I'd like to have a little talk with you, mm -hmm. old friend. 
Pal of my heart, men dear. We've always been friends. Indeed, we've been more than friends. I've always looked at us more as a mother and son relationship. <laughs> Mum. Oh, a purse, a purse. Get your hand out of that pocket. The fruitcake's on the other side. <laughs> Feeling it's time we part that you'll come stealing into my heart, and sure enough, you do when I'm alone, which makes me certain that you're my own. You're mine, whatever time of day. You're mine when the light breathes the morning. In it an awning of a silver gray. You're mine when the shades of night are falling. When all seem a sublime I know for your heart always sent me a call that you're mine oh, Next time you buy yourself a quarter pound block of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate, you're in for a pleasant surprise. Apart from that well-loved flavor and that fresh creamy milk, you'll find dairy milk has actually come down in price. In these days especially, it's refreshing to find that Cadbury's have actually brought prices down. That's sure proof that Cadbury's really know how to make fine chocolate. Quarter pound blocks of Cadbury's Dairy Milk now cost only two shillings. So if you like a bargain as well as a flavoursome nourishing chocolate, ask for quarter pound dairy milk. But be sure to say, I want Cadbury's. Dear diary, this is the fourth day. I don't know how I'll do it. My lunch at the health restaurant today consisted of a peeled grape, a spoonful of sunflower seed, washed down by a shot of dandelion broth. I'm not sure, but if tomorrow's a sunny day, I expect to burst into bud. <laughs> Dear diary, this is the fifth day. No food, no cigarettes. I think my nerve is beginning to crack. Usually when I go to bed, I dream of Ava Gardner in a bathing suit. Last night I dreamt about her again and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit. She was wearing a wrapped round pork chop. <laughs> I never thought I'd get that hungry. <laughs> this is the thirteenth day. <laughs> I'm reaching the danger point. Things are getting distorted and all out of proportion like a 3D film. Now, only today I was sitting on one side of the room opposite Elsie who was sewing, when all of a sudden... <laughs> what was that? I dropped my thimble, Percy. Uh, you know, Percy, you're getting terribly nervy lately. I'm not nervy. You are so too. You act frightened. I'm not frightened. You are. Now, come back out of the chimney and tell Mama all about it. It's nothing. Percy. What are you hiding behind your back? Let me see. I won't. You will so? Let me have a look. I cut it out of a magazine. Well, it's a picture of a stack of pancakes. I know. And I think they're beautiful. Only they taste like paper. <laughs> Well, 
Well, diary, this is the 14th day. I just couldn't stand it any longer around the house, so I went for a walk. A brisk walk. Oh, there you are, Purse. What about a snack? You must be an angel. I just heard heavenly music. Where are we going to eat? Right here at the health restaurant. Oh, no! I couldn't stand another meal in here, Herc. Oh, come on, Purse. This is just the place for you. They specialise in health problems. Treating them or causing them? Oh, come on, come on in. Well, how do you do? Back again for some more nourishment, eh? Do you mind if I stand near the stove? I haven't had a smoke for weeks. <laughs> oh, hilarious, my dear chap. Yes, but come out. Carew's Correct Cuisine is at your service. Carew? I thought your face was familiar. Weren't you in the education department last week? That's right. Adventurous Carew, they call me. Well, what are you doing in a cave? I'm a past master of getting people fed up, my boy. <laughs> oh, what a witch you have, Carew. I'm killing me. I wish you would. <laughs> Well, what's on today, Carew? As your food advisor, I will suggest a menu. But first, I'd like you to step over to the bar. The bar? Oh, boy, this is going to be better than I thought. Good. We'd like all our clients to start off with one of our special cocktails. It's one part carrot juice, one part kumquat juice, just a dash of cabbage squeezings, and topped off with a glass of Bulgarian sour cream. Now, isn't your tummy just waiting for that? Mate. It's crouched in the set position. <laughs> oh, good show, good show, good show. Uh, but I haven't begun to whet your appetite yet. Guess what the first course in our luncheon is. It's an animal, mineral or vegetable. <laughs> it's a salad I created myself. I feel that I put a little bit of me into it. I? <laughs> I call it the sheep herder's delight. The sheep herder's delight? Yes. Guess what's in it? A lady sheep herder. No, oh, no, 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 dear boy. No, no, this dish consists of three lettuce leaves, a handful of thistles, half a pound of buffalo grass, and a bean stalk. <laughs> now then, you eat up while I go and get my stock whip. What do you want with a stock whip? Well, someone has to watch over you while you graze. <laughs> oh, Kuru, you villain, you. Hey, this isn't a bad little place you've got here, apart from the food. Oh, of course, people with health problems all come here. Looking round, I'd say some of them just made it. <laughs> how do you like being in How do you like being in charge of a cafe, Carew? Carew's correct cuisine is not a cafe, it's a restaurant. And what's the difference? About four bob a serve? <laughs> oh, treacherous toad, Carew. Oh, but my chef. My chef, mm, he's a man of the world. Just the right experience for a job like this. Ah, uh, where did he cook before he came here? He was with Murphy's sheep shearing team for 25 years. How many men did he cook for? Oh, he didn't cook for the men, he cooked for the sheep. <laughs> Dear diary, it's the 15th day of my diet, and I've lost six pounds, 13 ounces. That's what I weighed when I was born. Oh boy, only three ounces to go. It's now eight o'clock at night and I'm sitting here alone in the rocking chair. To keep my mind off smoking and eating, I've just drunk 25 glasses of water. Maybe I'd better stop rocking. <laughs> I'm feeling very weak and I doubt whether I'm going to make it. Perhaps I should have a little something to keep my strength up. I know what I'll do. I'll sneak into the kitchen and have a dry biscuit. Just a little one. Ah, here they are, in this tin. Ah. Mmm, just look at this appetising dish. Now, at last. Oh, I'll start by licking off the salt. Mm. Oh, delicious. Now, I'll just nip round the edges, the crinkly bit. Hey, Purse, what are you up to? I, oh, oh nothing. <laughs> nothing, uh. You're eating. Am I? Oh, yes, so I am. <laughs> Only the crinkly edge on this dry biscuit. Huh, so you're having an orgy, eh? <laughs> Come on, give it to me. No, Herc, don't take it away from me, please. Just the crinkly edge, that's all, and the salt. The salt? Gluttony. <laughs> <laughs> Herc, I'm a desperate man. 
I'm hungry. <laughs> What's going on in here? I caught him eating a dry biscuit. Oh, oh he's a crinkly head. <laughs> what about the sauce? Now, don't be childish, the pair of you. Poor purse. He's been without food for so long, he's as nervous as a bearded lady mowing a lawn. <laughs> Thanks, Jellybean. I suppose it was worth starving myself, really. Look at me waist, I... Hey. Hey, what's that down there on the floor? Ah! No, 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 Percy, don't get excited. That's your feet. <laughs> Gee, that's a long time since I've seen them. It really was worth all the trouble after all. Well, I wish I could agree with you, Percy, but I just had a phone call from the producer of those advertising films. You did? Yes. And he said that he just looked at the last ten days of film and he's going to have to shoot it all over again. You look too scrawny. He said that? Yes. He can't continue until you've regained your former weight. You little ripper! Oh, boy. I give us a cigarette, Herc. Here you are, Purse. Thanks. Hey, you look the end with the filter tip. Yeah? Well, what do you know? Up till now, I've been throwing away the best part. <laughs> oh, and Jellybean, there's just one more thing. If there's any letters for me in the next few days, will you stick them in the fridge? The refrigerator? Yeah, that's going to be me address for the next week. <laughs> Until next week, we leave you with this pleasant thought. From now on, the price is two shillings for quarter pound blocks of Cadbury's dairy milk. Only two shillings, and that's not all. These other favourites, Cadbury's Candy Nut, Milk Lunch, Old Jamaica, Fruit and Nut and Energy Chocolate, have also been reduced to two shillings for the quarter pound block. Enjoy the same world-famous Cadbury quality, but at a lower price. Each thick, chunky square of dairy milk and those other Cadbury chocolates are full of deep-down flavour, full of nourishing goodness. Lovers of good chocolate everywhere are asking for Cadbury's dairy milk. It's the most popular chocolate block in Australia. That popularity has helped to reduce the price for everyone. Treat yourself to a two shilling quarter pound block of Cadbury's Dairy Milk chocolate tomorrow. Dairy Milk. More than ever, your good reason for I want Cadbury's. <laughs> In tonight's Cadbury show, you heard Minnie Love as Minnie, Kevin Brennan as our old friend Purse, Frank Strain as Mr. Hercules, Walter Sullivan as Carew, Ward Leopold as Sam Poole, and Rita Pornsford as Elsie. Songs were by Tony Lamond and Alan Cove, the music of Iris Mason, script was by Hugh Stuckey. Now, this is Reginald Goldsworthy, saying goodnight to you all from the Cadbury show.